Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got the fourth and fifth piece of the Cobalt Star. Only one piece remains, and I had to get one One Piece reference in the LP before the LP ended, of course. And that is presumably in Shroop Castle. Once we have that, we will be able to defeat Princess Shroop and save the Mushroom Kingdom of the past, present, and future. In this episode, we are taking our shards, headed to the castle, and taking it back by force. Let's go. By hinges and handles, the cobalt star is reacting with extreme agitatification. Now we can gain access, if you follow. The shrooms have certainly made this their stronghold. Loathing cycle activated. Remain alert and keep your eyeballs open, all of you. Back to adventure. Luigi, do we have to have another talk with the star god door, whatever the fruit's name was? In we go. Really cool that the final area is Peach's castle and not Bowser's castle for a change. And we got ourselves some new enemies right here which are just recolors of other enemies that we've seen in the past. Or the present, or past, past, the past of the past. I don't think I know. Uh, what are they even called? I don't know, the Tech Luigi. Uh, they are called Tashroombas instead of Tanumba, okay. They are basically the same enemy, just a lot more powerful, and presumably quicker, because that's how the cookie crumbles in this game. Okay, now, unfortunately it's not going to be as simple as going through Peach's Castle. As you can see, the design is a bit different, or a lot different, from Peach's Castle, so you can't really use your memory of that place to scope out this area, because it's not going to be like that. They really went all out when designing this place to be a new stronghold for the Princess Shrew. But, so we're going to have a heck of a time getting through this place. But nothing we can't handle, right? Nothing we haven't been able to deal with in the past, or present, or future. So uh, I think if we go to the left, it's just a fast travel system, kind of like in the Thwomp Volcano. Uh, yes, it is. Once we gain more access to other areas, we'll be able to... Uh, just have this shortcut thing available to us. This thing is a snooze orb. I assume if we wake it up, it's gonna get really angry and attack us. That's a great thing to have happen when, when Luigi's uh, knocked down. Hooray! Uh, let's go ahead and attack again. Shoot a laser out, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I guess they want you to defeat in one hit, so you don't have to worry about it, but I guess that works for any enemy when they're just not... when they're defeating one hit, so you don't have to deal with anything. And I don't know what the fruit I'm doing. I guess I'm... I'm glad that I... Jesus! Good thing I gave Mario the more defensive armor. My god. Go ahead and bring him back. And 16 HP for baby Luigi. Gotta appreciate that. But we're going to the final area with 369. So I can't be... can't be failing at a time like this. Get that experience. Because apparently it's very much needed. There are some enemies that drop very rare, uh... Equipable armor for all of the characters. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get them because... A, I'm sick as a dog, and B, I don't really uh, want to put in the time, so I don't think it's necessary. Uh, so I'm just going to make mention of them when we run into those specific enemies. Uh, if we head up here now, though, we got this, two red peppers, a bunch of coins that are completely useless to us now because it's the end of the game, and two copy flowers. Uh, we got another shine sprite space, and there's a block inside of her crotch, okay. And we got to get the block out of there, so head in here. And you know the drill. I've done this a million times before. We're gonna be implementing all of our skills throughout the game. How wonderful! Just jump across here, up 
here. And very good. We've got like right on the edge right there. Uh, go down here. Uh, not sure if I wanted to go up there first, but so we'll just have to wait and see. Like that. Okay, good. I didn't have to do that before because it wouldn't have been accessible to us. Hop on over here. Use Luigi again. Keep on going. And we got ourselves a moving platform. Okay, see it coming back. Okay, cool. I uh, just want to jump at the opportune moment. Get this block. Two red shells. Very, very exciting commentary for the final area. I know, it's just so thrilling. Kind of slow when it starts off, but it picks up later on. At least I remember it picking up. Or maybe I'm just advertising it for the sake of being interesting and really gotta stop using that word. I'm like really sick and sick of using that word. Like usually, at least when I acknowledge the fact that I was saying all right, the way too sick and much in year six, at least I was able to stop it afterwards. But this year, I just cannot stop saying that. I don't know why. Oh my God. Maybe I just need to like lose interest in literally everything. I need to just be dull, bold and brash and just not care about anything anymore. And then I will no longer have a need for that word because nothing will appeal to me anymore. But then that sounds really depressing, so maybe not. That creates a pathway of shrooms. Okay. So you just walk on over here. And I guess it's kind of cool having like a garden inside the castle, but it's a garden of evil, so we don't really want to deal with that. Honestly, it's the end of the game, so I'm probably going to be going all out with my bros items a lot more willy-nilly than I normally would. And I recommend you do the same, because you won't be needing them in the future, but make sure you still save your best ones for last. Uh, those things are annoying to fight. I got another one of those guys, got him in disguise as a coin. Uh, drill hole. Get through here, so we're going to fight him. And what do we got? We got some things right here. Just open this up. Yeah, just implementing all the techniques and stuff. Going on a trip down memory lane of all the amazing things we've learned on our adventure that we'll inevitably forget when we go on our next one. Kind of weird how RPGs do that. I kind of wish there was like an RPG that implemented uh, your save file from like the previous game and like had all those previous power-ups and whatnot. Uh, probably a good example would be uh, this is kind of spoiler territory for Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD. But it was a rumor for a while that not really a rumor, but like it was like a fake article that said the protagonist of Coliseum was, go was originally going to be the final boss of XD. And I thought that would be really cool if uh, he used, if you're able to have it read your save file of Coliseum and have him use your uh, your original team from Coliseum. But that was not actually a thing. I remember read uh, hearing about that before and I was furious because that sounds amazing. I would love to have had that happen, but it's not actually true. So don't worry about it. Uh, that was never actually... Well, that's still a really cool idea. I would have very much preferred that. That was never a beta thing that was originally going to happen. It was said that like they got rid of that element because they thought it was too edgy or too dark for a Pokemon game. But thankfully, that was never something that was up for debate. It was just a... That was weird. Okay. I'm sure I start blinking like that. Oh, uh, just run over here. Throw them in there. Uh, I think there are no enemies around here. Two more red peppers. Hey, we're running out of... Not getting any of the hundred coins in these pits anymore. How wonderful. And hey, hey, it's a toad. I wonder if he's a friendly toad or something like that. It can't possibly be any sort of trap. It's a trap. And just when I spoke to a super great. Two one-up supers. That's really cool. Uh, grab that. I said grab that. Thank you. Run over here. That. Three copy flowers. I love some copy flowers, as we all know. Uh, did we go in this one? I think we didn't. Oh, I think. guess we did. Okay. Pick him back up. Uh, check this one real quick. And yep, two more items. And a dire free badge. We'll check that in a minute. Uh, this is a bit awkward. Pick that up. Get these guys. And be on our merry way. Unfortunately, Toadsworth is not here. It's not like an evil Toadsworth of the past here to fight us. It'd be amazing if like, the final boss was Toadsworth. Uh, we got this laser thing right here. So what you're supposed to do is, again, sort of something that we've seen before in which we need to hit the blocks on one end and then hit it on the other end at the same time, so you kind of got to separate the characters that I really don't like doing, but they kind of force your hand in this game, so... Eh, how do I want to do this? I guess I'll separate the babies for now and I'll have the big bros go on their own. All on my own! I should probably heal Mario because it'd be really crummy if he died. Uh, there we go. Get that. Uh, give Luigi a little bit of HP as well. Keep on going. 
Head up to the adjacent path, and hello, we got a new enemy. Uh, I'm not going to show it off right now because we are separated. Uh, but we got a bunch of them. They really want me to show that enemy, but I'm not going to right now. Hit that. Hit that. Go over here. And hit that. Hit that. And we cross the streams! Guess where you could continue on over here. Head to the next laser cannon. Uh, oh, there's a block that we can't get because we're without the big rooms. How sad. We could summon them over here, but I'm not going to. I'll just remember that for later. Uh, head up here. Get ready for this one. Just trying to make this a bit quicker because I remember this dungeon being really stinking long. So we can show off one of them right now. Why not? Oh, hey! We got two new enemies. We got the Soul Bubble, which is a recolor of the other bubble character that we saw before. And the Shrewbrex. The Shrewbrex has a very rare chance of dropping uh, the 100 Point Pants, which is the ultimate uh, overalls for Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. I'm not going to go on my way to get it from them, but if you want to go ahead and do it, be my singing guest. I don't really care, but it's really cool that we got like a Super Mario World enemy right at the end. I believe if you jump on them, they actually do uh, get smushed like they do in Mario World, which is really cool. I'll try and show that off after this if he survives it. Uh, also, I think it's actually required to dodge his attacks because he's so tall. Okay, cool. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, he flies up there. And, wow, he's a fast enemy. I think all the enemy attacks is just like, oh, it's a recolor. Just make it faster. Uh... Oh, he could revive enemies. That's unfortunate. So you're definitely going to want to get rid of him first. Alright, get rid of you. If I can, he's going to heal him, of course, as well. Uh, but I just want to get rid of your stinking butt. Uh, what is, what is this guy going to do? Okay, do a little bit of damage to Mario. Jump on you again. Thank you, he goes down. And time for Green Shell. I forgot to show off what it looks like when he gets smushed, but I will try it later. Get all that. And mix fire one up mushroom. Would be really cool if I got the super rare armor, but whatever. Mario gets a level up. And the final area. Hmm. Let's see. It's with HP. Five. Very, very nice. And Luigi gets a level up. Get all them points. Uh, let's go with defense looking really good. Plus three, okay. Not great, but not, not great, but not bad, I guess. Uh, I guess we're just going to keep on going through here. This probably has another Shrewd Rex, so just for the sake of... Yep, okay. Just for the sake of, yep. Uh, I guess we'll use a Pocket Chomp. This will allow me to show you what it looks like when we smoosh his head. Hopefully. Jump on him. Jump on him. Got a lucky. Got a lucky. Such a slow attack whenever you're not, when you don't have the babies with you. Uh, but it does damage regardless, I guess. So I guess it's sort of good. You can smush them up to two times, I believe. Yep, okay. And then they don't get smushed no more. They might have different attacks depending on how smooshed they are. So keep that in mind. Keep on jumping. Get rid of that love bubble or the soul bubble up there. That'd be really nice. Uh, survey says, yes, okay, cool. Yes to the dress. Not sure why I made a reference to that, but whatever. Uh, is he gonna go down anytime soon? Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Undeniably. Okay, and oh, is a, there is a time limit on how long to use the pocket chomp. I didn't mess up once that time, man, I still failed. Okay. Oh, that was a jerk move. Uh, go ahead and use jump. And there you go. Experience, get the coins, and get no items. Head on over here. Uh, we don't want to use that quite yet. Go this way. Uh, there's a block up there, but I don't have to worry about that right now, I don't think. I think this is, this is the exact layout for Peach's Castle normally, but uh, there's some similarities to it. But that entrance area that was new to us. Go and hit that with Luigi, then Mario. Switch over to the babies. Hit it with Baby Mario, then Baby Luigi. And there's a block that opened up for us right there. We'll check that out in a hot minute, but first... 
Uh, I guess we gotta get reunited there, right? Not entirely. Uh, baby, the big bros don't need to go over there, so just run on over here. And we can't even reach that yet, so... Oh, we can't even go in there, so... I guess we will get reunited at this point, so I'll have them meet them over there. So this whole upper area, I don't know if that's required or if it's just for item purposes. I guess we'll find out eventually, but... Uh, just go over here and see what this block is all about. I assume it'll just open up the door. Attention, duelists! My hair security clearance to make an overused internet meme. Back together again! The boys are back in town, the boys are back in town, and they still don't know how to use their bros' attacks properly! What a coincidence! Open up the door that I thought it was gonna open up. Oh my golly gee. And that's not even the way to the thing. Oh, I get it. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh my god. It'll be a miracle if I make it out of this dungeon alive because I'm in so, so much stinking pain. So what you gotta do... I guess we'll go and see what's in here first before we do that. The railing is required because that's the only way we can get into that area in the top right. Or the little ones, I believe. As for this area, I believe it's just a fast travel system. Uh, no it's not. Okay. What is this? It... Ice flowers. And we got a new enemy right here. This is Shroobsworth, a very hilarious enemy. It basically mimics Mario and Luigi's attacks, how it has like an elder and a younger one uh, paired up with one another. The Shroobsworth has a very rare chance of dropping the ultimate armor for Mario and Luigi, so these are the two enemies that you want to sort of hunt down in order to get the ultimate armor. Am I going to do that? No, because I am dying and I don't want to uh, waste any more time with that, so I just want to go ahead and finish up this LP and get some well-deserved rest. Uh, probably not a good idea to use the trampoline right off the bat because I wanted to see what he was all about, but whatever. Uh, let's just keep doing it. If you got that badge that allows you to get items from enemies, like the guaranteed items that they drop, then uh, that would be a good one to use in this area because you would be able to at least get something from them. I'm sure they have a chance of dropping other items as well, but uh, you can at least have a better chance of getting the item that you're looking for. And then, I guess we'll attack this one right now. Just so we can see what Stroob's worth is all about. He throws a volleyball. Ouch. Okay, you're supposed to like play volleyball with him over and over again, but I failed miserably. And oh no, the Elder has got knocked out. And now we have the intern Shroob taking his place. He's not very strong. As you can plainly see. Get all that, and no item, unfortunately. You're really singing grave, we did get it, but uh, do I even bother with the beans? Uh, I made it this far by doing it, so I guess I should. He's going to get mad at me otherwise. Oh, great. That was a really singing annoying fight. There was like five singing one ups in that fight. Got a mixed flower at least, but not what I wanted. Uh, nothing else over here. Uh, get rid of the babies. I'm so used to pressing X to open up the menu. Uh, let's go and use some mushroom drops. Heal everyone up a bit. Uh, that should be good for now. Keep on going. Uh, it'd be weird if I like skip out on some things. I apologize if that's the case. Normally I would not want to do that, but just for the sake of me being sick as a dog right now, I hope you guys will excuse me for that if I end up skipping out on like some not required pathways, though I think we will have to go back down there eventually. Uh, go ahead and hit that. Uh, let's see more attacks from the Shroob's Worth, because we really get to see that. We saw a new attack right there from the Shroob Rex, which is pretty cool. Get some volleyball again. Okay, hit it properly. Let's play with Mario. Come on. God darn it. Always sinking the Uh, no, it did not mean to attack him, but whatever. Uh, now we gotta dodge this. God diggity darn it. God diggity darn it! Uh, attack him. Please KO. No, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, what's he doing? Hello. Okay, that's a weird attack. Jumpity jump, a jumpity jump. And the elder's gone. Knock him out. Uh, ouchies. God darn it, I'm sick of losing Mario. Imagine how much worse it would be if I, like, didn't switch out his armor. My god. And he has, like, the more defensive armor right now, doesn't he? Oh, that's a scary thought. Uh, hurry up and get rid of this guy. I'm sick of seeing him. I'm sick of a lot of other things right now. Mostly the flu. Uh, attack him. Thank you. 
He can bring him back? Are you serious? God darn it. Ugh. Even Toadsworth. Who knew he would be so stinking evil? If you haven't played, like, Mario's Super Sluggers in the Mario Baseball games, Toadsworth is actually the best pitcher in that game. It's amazing. Like, you wouldn't expect it. I don't want to spoil how he pitches, but it's amazing. You should definitely play just to see Toadsworth pitch. Uh, okay, get rid of him again. Use a green shell. And we are good. Did you get any items? It'd be really nice since I'm sick right now. I don't know, just a nice little thank you item from the game. Very much appreciate it. Uh, let's see, for Baby Mario... Stash, there we go, six. Baby Luigi. Uh, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to his double 69. Uh, we got good HP. Good defense right there. Let's go with defense. Five, okay. Now, if we keep on going forward, we're in the library area. Now, the library, uh... Uh, let's see. Just a bunch of these dudes. We got a pathway that wasn't there before. I don't know if you could go to like the reverse time portals, go to like evil versions of like all the past areas, but then this place would be really sinking long and hard to get through, so I am sort of okay with that not being the case. And I like how there's a parallel uh, broken part of the floor in uh, this version of the castle. So I can't go through here. Those, those saucers overhead are preventing our progression. I wonder if there's any way to chase them off. For the time being, let's look for an alternative route. We can't go to the left or to the right. Let's go upwards. Uh, nothing over here. Nothing over here except for progress. And hopefully that will be what exactly what we need. We got 23 seconds to get up there. Let's ditch the tots and let's go, uh, bro. Oh, uh, that's how you know it's a brotherly bond like no other when you are able to form a ball with your bro. It's real squad goals right there. I'm trying to say at this point, I feel really sick and sick. Oh boy, it'd be amazing if I could collapse right at the final boss. That'd be amazing. Let's not talk about that though. Please make it there. What the? What? 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 Oh, oh you missed the stinking block. Oh, God damn it. No, what the fruit? Go! No! Ugh! There we go. Should not have been difficult, but of course it is. Head up here. We got a teleportation for these guys. Pick them up. Three super mushrooms. I'm probably going to need them. Only I had the refresh room of my own from uh, the beginning of the game that Toadsworth had. I press this, and we can enter this very fancy little UFO. the upgraded version of the cute little UFO. Why? It began moving all by itself, did it not? What's this? Control this? And send those shroop saucers to obliteration? Of course! Brilliant! Mm -hmm. And all thanks to Luigi! Quite an accomplishment! Now as for the controls... I just happen to have a plug for this thing. Huh. Of course! I've got it! To me again, you must strike that block floating over there. Hit it, if you please. Block 
have appeared, have they not? And the meter back there has begun to move as well. You should be able to stop the meter by striking the corresponding block. Yes, in theory, I'd advise testing the theory on Baby Luigi's block. Interestive. Maybe that's my new word. The shroob saucer only rises a distance equivalent to the length of the meter. Now let's have Baby Mario hit his block as well. Yes, that's it. Excelized. And now it's Mario's turn. Huh? You want a turn too, Luigi? Alrighty, go ahead. Yes. Now it's time for Mario's block. It's different from the others. You'll understand once you hit it. Go ahead, Mario. As you can see, that block emits an amazifying beam. And by the way, the block will emit a beam even if the other three blocks are not struck. Those irritative saucers have appeared again! It would be ideal if we had more time to practice, but it does not appear to be. It is time to be serious, so do not falter. Would you like me to explain that again, just to be safe? I believe if you fail this, it's an instant game over, so good luck to you. Luck cycle initiated. Uh, that's a perfect angle, so just have it hit with Mario. And basically all you gotta do is just line up all the shots with the, uh, shots. That was a great sentence. Basically get rid of all the saucers. Perfectitude! Four this time. You should be able to take out these ships the same way. Luck cycle initiated. Okay, hit that. And there we go. Got there. I think we get that one right there. Cool. Hit that one. Hit that one. Hit that one. Get rid of you. Hit that one. That one. And I think we need to Luigi's. There we go. Very, very good. Now they're moving. No, no. This one's kind of tricky. Uh, not that one. Uh, just a little bit more for Luigi. Uh, there we go. Keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, and did not mean to do that. God darn it. Uh, we're gonna have to hit it. I don't know if it's for this one or for like a different time where you use this minigame and it leads to an instant game over. Uh, go! There we go. Cool, cool, cool. We got four this time. And they're all going crazy. Uh, hit that. Hit with Mario. Not really much to say, just keep on doing the thing. Watch me do my thing, do my thing. Oh, that was really crummy. I shouldn't have rushed it. As Baby City Mama. Wow, okay. As Baby City Mama once said, don't rush it. Uh, wow, okay. I should not be failing this because if it does lead to an instant game over, I have some progress I need to make up that I do not want to do. Uh, there we go. Cool. Okay. Uh, phooey. Uh, maybe too high. Okay, thankfully it wasn't. Uh, just a little bit for Baby Mario. Okay. There we go. There we go. Got them all clear. Hooray. Happy dance, indeed. Head on out of here, and these guys are no longer bothering us, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, but first, we want to go ahead and check out these warp pipes. We got one in the bottom right that we didn't check out before. Oh, uh, I gotta walk all the way back down. Give me a second. Back over here. Uh, how do we get over there exactly? Uh, do we need to use a little flying thing? God darn it! Do not want to fight when I'm on my own. Uh, we cannot even reach that. So we can't check that warp pipe over there to the right. As far as I'm aware... Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything here for us. Could we go here, we did that already. I guess that's all for us? Could we... maybe. maybe. God darn it. Mario got a level up on my way back down. Oh, uh, he's over 100 HP, finally. Uh, looking with defense, probably gonna... God darn it, plus one! Luigi, level 26. Uh, what do you got? Really good HP. 
Good. Good defense. Good speed. Let's go with speed. Six. Very, very cool. Uh, now that we're back down here, do not fight that guy. Uh, what happens if we go up here? Uh, let go of these guys and total twist. Can we make this gap? We cannot. I thought we would be able to. Let me just try it one more time. Uh, of course, we gotta get them back down here. Back up here, rather. Why can't you just grow magically long baby legs or something like that? God diggity darn it! I know mama says to never yell at the baby. Well, she says never shake the baby, but I'm shaking its emotions. And yeah, there's no way to actually get up there. So, as far as I'm aware, we can't actually get through there quite yet. So, watch it uh, end up this warp pipe over here leads to whatever the heck over there is. Kind of weird if that was the case, though, because it's the same area. But whatever, we've seen weirder things, I'm sure. Head on over here. And we can find ourselves... Uh, a couple of warp pipes. Where do they lead us? I know the next episode. Nah, not quite. Oh god, we're at 37 minutes. Maybe it will be in the next episode. Uh, up here. Don't want to go in there just yet. Over on this pipe. We got... A shortcut. Back to the beginning. Question is, is this supposed to be the first one or the last one? I'm not entirely certain. Because I did skip a lot of stuff with that upper area. I don't know if I'm going to go back for it or if I'm just going to skip out on it. It's probably just for items and for shortcut's sake. I really don't want to. I don't think it's entirely necessary. So unless it is required, I'm just going to keep on going the way we're going. And hopefully you're all okay with that. So we made a good amount of uh, headway into Princess Shruba's castle. And we're going to continue to do so. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we will continue our way through here in hopes of reaching the end. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.